At the start of the data loading process, operators sometimes experience issues that are caused by improper setup of the remote terminal laptop. In this video, we'll demonstrate the four steps to set up a Windows 7 remote terminal for a smooth data load. We're going to configure the LANTAP IP address, disable the firewall, disable antivirus software, and then test the aircraft connection. First, configure your computer network settings for the LANTAP IP address. Open the Windows Control Panel. Select View Network Status and Tasks, and then Change Adapter Settings. Right-click on Local Area Connection and select Properties. Under the Networking tab, highlight Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 and open the Properties page. Select Use the following IP address and insert the IP address provided by ICS Arrow or as defined by the Airframe OEM. For the subnet mask, use 255.255.0.0. Verify that the DNS server addresses are blank, select OK, and close the connection properties window. With LAN connection configured, Turn off your firewall and virus protection. To do this, select the Windows Control Panel, then System and Security. Select Check Firewall Status under Windows Firewall. On the left side, select Turn Windows Firewall On or Off. Select the Turn Off Windows Firewall radio buttons for each of the different settings. Select OK to close the Firewall Settings window. The hardest thing to do is to turn off any installed antivirus software. The most common Windows antivirus is McAfee. Each program varies, so once you locate the program installed, if any, refer to the program website to determine how to turn it off. Now you can test the connection to the aircraft. Connect to the LAN using the LANTAP interface. Open a command prompt window on the remote terminal and ping the LANTAP to verify that you've configured the RT correctly for EPIC data loading on that aircraft. For complete information on remote terminal configuration and additional troubleshooting information, refer to the Data Loading Service Information Letter, available in technical publications on myaerospace.com.